Everybody, what's going on? It's Jay here from Jay Hess Wellness. Just wanted to come to you guys, talk to you a little bit today about clean eating. Today's video is Clean Eating 101. So this is gonna be my starter video to try to help out a couple people, some new members that come to the team, just anyone out there who would like a little bit of help, just the average person that was never educated on possible clean eating and things that are more healthier for our body. So today for some of the basics with clean eating that I usually like to go over is going to be leaner meats, some differences with meats, okay? We're going to talk about veggies, we're going to talk about whole foods, um, more liquid as well, um, no liquid calories, we're trying to cut that, as well as uh, getting away from boxed foods and man-made things. So let's start with meats. Um, for the average person, we have been uh, kind of misguided since like the 1950s in the U.S. with the whole cattle industry and things like that. So a lot of our misconception is thinking we can only get protein or that's how we get big and strong is from meats. And that's not true. The cows eat the grass and we want to eat the cow. We're the only mammal that drinks another mammal's milk. That's the reason why I don't drink dairy. I do almond and coconut milk. Um, but nonetheless... For meats, let's try to limit, just limit, let's start, pro the, the process has to start slow. Limit some of the more nastier meats, pork, red meats, things like that, really highly fatty meats, things that are very overtly processed by man. Um, try to cut those back. Instead of getting a meal where it's the 16 ounce steak and no veggies, how about get a meal where it's a portion of steak that we really need which is probably only about four ounces and once it's cooked it's really only about three because steak loses about 25 percent of its weight once you cook it so about three ounces of cooked meat that's about our serving and that's all we really need there was a real great study I watched one time uh, three athletes got to eat three separate meals and then they did blood work immediately after well up to two hours afterwards and the person that ate meat you could see the fat in their blood versus the people that had other food or more plant-based foods. This video is not to opt you into a plant-based modality, but rather just to inform you. Try to fill up on your veggies. I usually like to pe preach, fill up on your veggies first. Um, try not to eat the dessert first before <laughs> you get the food. I get it. Um, that's one star. Another thing I like to tell people is aim for leaner meats. So chickens, turkeys, things of that nature. Um, turkeys, you have to watch out real high in sodium, but sometimes it could be a little bit better of a choice for some people versus meat or, well, excuse me, versus steak or things like that. Um, now about veggies. Lots of colors. Veggies come in all different colors. They have multiple different nutrients in them, vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients, all types of things that our body needs in order to build and be ready for the next bout or the next task in front of us. So try to fill up on the veggies on your dinner plate first, okay? Um, my other thing is seafood. Uh, I usually like to preach to people to try to bump up a little bit of their seafood. And some of the reasons are omegas, healthy fats, things like that. But it's a very lean protein. It's still another animal source, so it is a complete protein. It's very fast, very fast digesting, um, low calorie, so it can be very beneficial for some. Yes, taste is not always the greatest. I get it. Opt out for what you can and just change one day at a time with it. Now, the next thing I like to go on uh, that's a real big problem with most of people in the U.S., and that's just because here we live sometimes maybe a little bit more outside of our means. So our life is so fast in the U.S. It's go, 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 fast food, fast food, fast food, box mashed potatoes and all of these things. Like the potato didn't grow in a box. It grew as a potato. So that's why I preach whole food. Get closer to source is what I'm ideally trying to preach. Closer to source, less processed. So if you're going to eat the potato, try to eat the whole potato or the potato that you mashed yourself in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Don't get the box potato that you just add water to and it fluffs. <laughs> that depends on your spirituality, but you know the planet didn't naturally grow a box of potatoes. <laughs> God didn't put a box of potatoes here. It was the whole potato. Very similar for fruits. Let's try not to do canned fruits. Eat the whole fruit. Um, and down that line as well. Now, the last thing I like to talk about with clean eating and I try to touch on is liquid calories. And this is one of the biggest ones I've come across with a vast majority of just the average person who just wants to become healthy and start working out a little bit and start just making healthier choices for them and their family. A lot of people drink quite a bit of their calories. 
And what I mean by that, alcohol, soda, teas, drinks, sugars, and all types of flavors in your coffee. Okay, those right there sometimes can, I have seen, and these numbers aren't hard science, but out of the people I've coached in the past, a good 40 to 50% of people usually consume more than their daily calories just in liquids, and they don't even realize it. And then they start talking about nutrition, and they're like, oh, well, I only eat 1,500 calories a day. Well, what do we drink to? You know, they have 12 pack of beer. Well, you got about 15,000 calories, 1,500 calories right there on that. <laughs> so, I mean, again, all of these things do matter, okay? Now, leaving off on the clean eating 101, it's going to spill into the next video, which will be liquid drinking 101. <laughs> you thought it was going to be some crazy name, didn't you? So on more of the clean drinking aspect, it's where I go over a little bit more about how to try to clear up a little bit of those um, extra calories that we have in the unnecessary sofas, solid fats and added sugars, okay? This is something that usually is added to a lot of our foods in America and within our drinks, okay? For flavoring, preservatives, other stuff amongst that. Um, for today, guys, remember, God bless everybody, create your future. There's no day like the present. Talk to you again.